Are you keeping your stacking focus? Are you needing some silver and gold encouragement for 2020? Well, you came to the right place. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining Yankee Stacking. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited about making it. And well, you know, I get a lot of emails and comments from around the community and I really, really value each and every one of them. But there's this theme that I sometimes see and it's just the, the excitement and the passion of stacking can sometimes cause us to lose focus. I mean, I hear people say, oh, I can't control myself, Yankee. I, I, I know I shouldn't be buying anymore for now because, you know, I, I can't pay my debts or, you know, my, my significant other is pretty ticked off at me, whatever it is. But I, when, I, when, I, when I see, you know, silver, like a, just a, a regular silver eagle or, oh, you know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a, a, a shiny, really beautiful coin oh man <laughs> i just can't help myself maybe it's even gold oh i've been wanting to get into gold yankee but now boy i can't i can't stop what do i do oh i've heard this quote too i start down one path yankee and i find myself getting a box of stuff i i just shouldn't have bought it it shows up in the mail and i'm thinking oh, what was i thinking you know, that, that urgency, the, the desire, especially around the holidays, right? You know, the year end, those, the, the blitz from the bullion companies were just unbelievable, weren't they? I was getting, you know, emailed constantly. I was even getting texts from some you know, some of them saying, oh, you don't want to miss out. Oh, you got to buy now. It's the end of the year. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Oh, man, I have also heard people say, Yankee, I don't know what I'm doing. This is all new to me. Is it an investment? Uh, is it a hedge? Uh, is it a playground? Is it all three? Is it none of those? I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow, it, it, it is hard to maintain stacking focus, isn't it? You know, this, 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 this hedge of protection... This, um, this wealth preservation, <laughs> this, this collection of, of real money, right? <laughs> Maybe it's an opportunity to flip and get some profit. All this, it's just so stinking beautiful, right? I mean, when you hold it and, and you stack it and you, you get like a tube, right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is hard to maintain focus. But for me, focus must be maintained. It really does. You know, guys, I'm probably one of the most disciplined stackers you're ever going to meet. Uh, you know, I, maybe, maybe you're just like me or maybe you're even more focused than I am, but I'd be amazed to see that because again, I focus on my Yankee stacking strategy and it's really just three things, right? It's uh, government minted silver bullion. It's um, uh, constitutional silver and fractional gold. It, it, that's it. I mean, it's really, really simple. <laughs> But sometimes even I have to get something fun, right? I mean, or, or just, you know, see something. I'm like, oh, what? I want that. And here's one of them, right? And this, <laughs> this is so out of character for Yankee. It's a slab piece of silver. All right, a 1982 S. Washington 50 cent silver proof. I mean, really, that's a... I mean, it's a 69, right? Yeah, PF69. But it is it is my favorite president of all time, George Washington. So I was at Tim's and we were talking about, you know, slabbed uh, silver. And we were talking about, you know, this one's from uh, NGC. And I said, you know, talk to me about grading and, and talk to me about the value of having graded silver. So, I, you know, he showed me this and I looked at it and I went, uh, I'm not here for that, Tim. And he looked at me and I'm like, I looked down at it again. I said, but wait a minute. 
<laughs> okay, fine. And he gave me a great deal. I bought it. So th this is what I call a silver ice cream cone, right? It's dessert. It's not my regular diet at all. It's like the only slab piece of silver I own. So, um, but it was fun to get. So was that uh, out of focus? Was that out of control? No, absolutely not. I, I do enjoy occasionally getting some fun stuff, but I am a very disciplined stacker and I focus where I believe I need to focus because, you know, that's just the type of stacker I am. And I know sometimes we, we joke around, right? We say, ah, I couldn't help myself. Ah, I went crazy. Ah, I can't, this stuff is so beautiful. That's fine. We, we joke and tease around that. But in all seriousness, I've seen some pretty sad stuff. I mean, just the other day, I met someone new to our stacking community online on, on YouTube at Tim's. He was selling over 70 ounces of silver bars. Why? He, he said he needed the cash, and he was really sad about doing it. I mean, he, he said, this is, this is really hard. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. This, ooh, I can't believe I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there it was, all out on, this, uh, on Tim's um, uh, glass counter, all the bars. One ounce, five ounce, ten ounce, and 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 I'll tell you, that can easily happen, right? Especially, especially in the holiday season, right? The end of the year, it's all about buying stuff. It seems sometimes, right? And January is usually the official start of buyer's remorse for the orgy of Christmas spending that we often do. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to challenge people and encourage people in 2020. Okay, as I do challenge myself to maintain your stacking focus. Watch out, okay? Bullion dealers, like I said before, they know how to entice you. We are very susceptible, especially as stackers, to buy higher premium items. You know, we're susceptible, susceptible to pull out our credit card and just overextend ourselves, right? So let's talk about my clearly defined goals, my New Year's resolutions for stacking. And, and this is a great time to set your goals and resolutions. So here's mine. Number one, there, the monster box. I need to finish this monster box, okay? Oh, silver is my priority, and so are American silver eagles, and I am getting close, okay? I exercise some Yankee discipline, all right? And again, this is my one of the key items in stacking the Yankee way, so I'm definitely doing it, partly because I'm trying to keep up with silver dragons. We have a, a little battle going on as who's going to be able to finish their monster box first. I'm not going to tell you how far I've gone, but uh, this is definitely something that I want to do this year. Finish this box. So the other thing I really want to do is uh, continue another journey that I have right over here. This is, this is a half dollar guardhouse box. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see. Look at this. I got this from the one and only Talking Bullion last year. He is an amazing constitutional silver stacker. And he knows how to get it. This, these are for um, half dollars. And right now there's nothing in it because I haven't really uh, filled uh, these up yet. They're, they're in a different box right now, to be honest with you. And, and I didn't want to uh, go hog wild on this until I finish the American Silver Eagles. But as soon as that's done, I'm filling this box with half dollars. They could be Benji's, they could be uh, JFK's, it doesn't matter to me. So thanks again, TB. Really appreciate you giving me this box. Number three, fractional gold. That's right, guys. You know, I, I you know about the Yankee Cannon, I'm sure if you've watched me or watched my channel. The Yankee Cannon was purchased back in 2009. It's 21 ounce. American Gold Eagles. Um, this was the base of my stacking back in 2009. I got them for, I don't know, I think spot was at 1,000 an ounce. But for now, when I go gold, I go fractional gold. And I'll tell you, the quarter ounce is my favorite fractional gold to buy. It's the sweet spot for me, guys. 
Yes, it takes discipline to get a quarter ounce. Just recently, I had an exchange on another channel where somebody said that they, they just don't, they, they can't afford a quarter ounce. So they were buying 10 ounce or 10th of an ounce of gold. And I told them, I said, you do realize that, you know, if you, if you saved a little bit longer, okay, I know it takes discipline again, but if you save longer, you can actually get a quarter ounce and save yourself roughly $4 on average in premiums over a one-tenth ouncer. So I, I highly recommend that if you're going to go into fractional gold, wait a little bit, go with the quarter ounce. Really love the quarter ounce. I love the Canadian maple. Look at that. That is so iconically beautiful. Uh, man, it's 24 karat of luscious gold. <laughs> and it costs about the same as a roll of one of these. Okay, so yeah, the ratio says go silver, but I also like to stack what the big boys do. The central banks, they love gold. So again, I'm going to get two more uh, quarter ounces in 2020. That is my goal. And one more thing about uh, the fractional gold. I want to shout out Silver Britches, someone relatively new to our community, but he is stacking very well. I will put a link to a specific video uh, right up there, actually. I'll, I'll just, I'll throw it up there. Check out that video from uh, Silver Britches on fractional gold. All right, so these are all fun stacking goals, but <laughs> what about some really unique stuff that I want to do this year, okay, around my channel. Well, I have three other stacking goals for 2020. The first is to release the very first Yankee channel round in both silver and gold. That's right, a gold Yankee channel round. I may be biting off more than I could chew, but I just think if I really truly believe in gold as a, uh, a priority for stacking the Yankee way, I got to come out with a round that's not just silver, but also gold. So I'm working on what that channel round will look like. Um, I've commissioned the one and only Silver Dragons to help me get it, a stamp. I really want to do this right. I mean, it's been a year and a half on YouTube. I think it's time to do it. And I've been asked to do it. So here it goes, 2020. That's what I'm going to do. And I also want to do uh, a couple trades with other great channels in our community. One of which is already planned. I won't tell you now, but it's a she. <laughs> that should narrow it down quite a bit because there is not a whole lot of women stackers in our community. There should be more. Come on, you women out there. If, you, if you're watching this channel and you haven't created content yet on YouTube and you're a stacker, this is your year. You really need, we need more women in our community doing this. And then the last thing, um, you know, one of my, the last goals that uh, I have for 2020 is the Yankee box. Now, I'm going to put that up there as well. If you haven't checked out my video on the Yankee box, you have to check it out. It is unbelievable. It's going to be the most amazing trip that this box takes around North America. And at the very end, when it makes it all the way back to me, I'm going to do a massive giveaway celebrating this community and uh, you're not going to want to miss that. So in summary, focus, 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 focus. Set your goals, okay? And try hard to stick to them. Resist FOMO, okay? The fear of missing out. And it's corollary, letting go of missed opportunities. I have to let go of the fact that I did not get an enhanced reverse proof from the Mint in 2019. It's one of my um, uh, regrets, if you will, of last year. But hey, you know what? It's 2020 now. I got to let that go. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, right? <laughs> the other thing, don't chase deals. The big bullion companies have the higher marketing teams, okay? They know how to push the buttons. Be careful. Don't chase the deals. Just, just be slow and careful here, right? 
Treat yourself, okay? Yeah, treat yourself to a, a prized piece, something that you've been wanting so bad. I mean, uh, my dream piece is the gold buffalo, all right? That is something that one day, man, I hope I can have. <laughs> but but don't jump the gun, okay? Wait until some stacking milestone is met, maybe. Maybe, maybe when I reach 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can't imagine that, but if I if and when I get to ten thousand subscribers, maybe that is when I'll get myself a gold buffalo. Hmm. You know, add in some friendly competition. Okay, yeah, you know, Silver Dragons and I are having fun with this monster box challenge. But you know what? It, it's a great way to to push you along, right? To to keep your focus and and help you reach your goals. And you have some competition. So I would enjoy actually seeing other people in the community kind of challenge each other to do stuff. Um, and the last thing is add in some accountability. Yeah, I, I said it. Accountability. That's hard, guys. Human nature <laughs> says we don't want to be held accountable to anyone for anything, right? <laughs> it's It's just hard but that's one of the things that mrs yankee does so well she does hold me accountable she helps me keep to my goals helps helps me focus right so if you have someone uh, you know even if they don't thoroughly get what stacking is all about or maybe your significant other or spouse just doesn't quite get it ask him or her to just help you stay focused I think they'll appreciate it, and maybe, who knows, they'll learn something. <laughs> I, I truly believe this is going to be an amazing year. This is going to be an amazing decade, folks, and it's got great time to stack. So again, thank you so much for watching my channel. Check out uh, in the description some really cool links that I've put in there about stacking, um, about you know YouTube um, you know, uh, content creating, you know, some of the hardware that I use. Actually, uh, I love my Blue Yeti. I figured out how to connect it to my iPhone with a really cool piece of equipment. Let's check this out. Lightning to USB 3 adapter. All right. Don't worry about it saying camera. This is really cool. It lets me connect the Blue Yeti mic to my phone and keep it powered up at the same time. My audio quality should be a lot better now. So those are the types of items that I've stuck in the uh, description of this video. Feel free to check them out. And well, again, thanks so much. And I hope your day is a-okay.